Okay, week 14, probability. This week we're going to be doing something called creating a sample set, um, figuring out what all of our options are given the basically ingredients um, or pieces of data that we have. We're going to be making some pizzas with our chips. Um, basically we're gonna have a red chip that means thick crust and a red chip that means thin crust. We're also going to be labeling some other chips so that the kids can rearrange the chips to see what their options are. I've got some little gum stickers here. You can just take those and put them on a few of the extra chips and label them. We'll label one S for sausage. S for sausage, C for cheese, and P for pepperoni. And basically, you're going to figure out what are my options? What kind of pizza can I buy, order, if I have these ingredients? And you start off with some rules. You say, okay, you can just have one type of crust, and you can have one topping on your pizza. So I would do this in groups again for the kids, and with a little bit um, and with a little piece of paper or a whiteboard. Basically, we're making up something called a sample set. And this is um, something that's used a lot in probability. What are the choices? What kind of choices am I going to have based on my ingredients? Um, so I'll start off with a thick crust, which is my red thick crust. And I can have... Um, thick crust and sausage. So I put that over here. Thick and sausage. I can have a thick and cheese. Or I can have a thick and pepperoni. Okay, so those are all of my thick options. And then for my thin options, I can have thin and pepperoni, thin and sausage, thin and cheese. So in is, when you do probability, it's important that you are able to write out all of your options or make a sample set of the options. Okay, so after you do that, then you can practice ordering pizzas or whatever you want. But of course, somebody's going to say, well, what if I want a second? What if I want to have um, two ingredients on my pizza? Or what if I want mushrooms? So then have this planned out again ahead of time, what your next one's going to be, if you're going to add a mushroom or if you're going to have two ingredients. Okay, so if you add a mushroom, you're going to get, now you have a thick pizza with mushroom and you have a thin pizza with mushroom. So adding just one ingredient because it can be paired with a thick and thin crust gives you two more options. Now if you want to have two ingredients on your pizza then you're going to have um, you're going to be adding on. So instead of, you have your thick crust You have a thick crust, and you can have sausage and pepperoni. And then you keep your sausage, and you add a mushroom. It's, it's good to help the kids think through this in a logical way, like make sausage the first ingredient, and then, have, um, then switch out the second ingredient each time. Thick sausage cheese. And then switch out your th second ingredient. So instead we'll just have cheese second. And then it can be, since we have cheese sausage and sausage cheese, that's the same. Um, so cheese pepperoni. Um, thick cheese mushroom. And we already had chick sausage. 
So now we'll switch out our second ingredient again and we'll make it mushroom, thick with mushroom. Now we already have mushroom and sausage, mushroom and cheese. So we'll go back to our chips. We already have mushroom and cheese, mushroom and sausage. So the only extra we have is mushroom and pepperoni. Okay, and then let's see if we have any other ones. So the next second one we would have is pea. And if you look through here, you'll see that you already have sausage, pepperoni, sausage, cheese, sausage, or pepperoni, sausage, pepperoni, cheese, pepperoni, mushroom. So there's no more pepperoni options for thick. And then you are able to move on to your thin pizza and have the same results. SP and you can have the kids work through this instead of just writing them all down again you can start with a thin crust and say okay what's our first option cheese our third option would be pepperoni then it would be mushroom then it would be sausage and then we're gonna switch it and make our second ingredient sausage and we already had sausage cheese so that's out sausage mushroom and then sausage pepperoni and then write those down so um, that's what you're doing and you're actually making something called a sample set and probability to figure out what are all of the options that you have and then once you have things like this then you can ask questions on how often or how you know what percentage of the time what's the probability some of you will order something with a pepperoni and then you see how many peas there are, and you would say, well, that would be um, just on thick. How many options would they order something with thick with the pepperoni, with two toppings? So here they're all thick, but only one, two, three have pepperonis. So this would be three out of six times, or at least one half of the time, they would order a pizza with pepperoni. In this case, it would be the same <laughs> with... Um, cheese or sausage what's the probability that they would order a mushroom pepperoni pizza thick crust well thick mushroom pepperoni there's only one combination so that would be one sixth probability that they would order a thick pizza with mushroom and pepperoni you can expand that thinking as you work through um some of the results with the kids again just to show them um, how to make a sample set and see how you can just take a few ingredients and make a lot more combinations um, I think I when I did this once I actually brought in little pizzas but the chips are fine um, and that's what you would use for week 14 okay thanks bye